And there is a beautiful new house coming with the quarter three 2021 update for the Elder Scrolls Online. Let's take a look at Sweetwater Cascades. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, join me as we take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous house. Uh, this is a new house coming with quarter three for 2021 for the Elder Scrolls Online. It is located here, basically in the border between Blackwood and uh, Blackwood and Northern Elsewhere. Oh, I've lost it. Uh, and it is simply beautiful. Here we go. Blackwater and Northern Elsewhere. As you can see when you look out into the distance, the aqueduct from Northern Elsewhere is actually feeding the fountains that you can see here. If you don't own the Blackwood chapter, you can still buy this house for crowns and just travel directly to the house as opposed to being able to walk in the front door. So don't let that stop you um, if it's something that you're really interested in. So uh, we have the entries just here and a second one there. We have a beautiful, beautiful starting pool. Uh, it's really extremely gorgeous I have to say uh, I might take you around the side first and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at the actual house uh, we'll preview this uh, actually we might preview this furnished and then I'll explain to you the differences between furnished and unfurnished certainly you can swim around the edge here there are some little sets of stairs that will get you up onto the wall uh, a beautiful weir spilling over into this lower pool. This lower pool, as you can see, is slightly more naturalistic and very deep. So let's just go all the way around the outside first, I think, but we'll come this way. So amazing views of the aqueduct, an incredible engineering feat <laughs> to create something quite so big. Uh, a small entry courtyard to the villa. Uh, which, as you can see, is of the Leowin style. So we'll come back around here. More of this extremely deep uh, and gorgeous naturalistic water features. And along this kind of mm, the edge of the wall, I guess, really. As you can see, it's not particularly fortified. Anybody could jump in here through the wall and have a look. But it's very up in the mountains and quite lonely, so I'm not sure that they would be able to. So on this side, you can see that there's some, this is much more um, like a creek on this side, outside of this center back courtyard. Let's just go back over the bridge, well over the wall, and over to here. So you can see there are some beautiful, beautiful uh, colonnades um, that you could decorate in the most amazing way. So, as you can see, furnishings out here are sparse. Uh, uh, and then we have another simply stunning central pool here as well. Uh, the, the pools are just phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, they really are extremely gorgeous. And as you can see, there's a second small building at the back as well. So, if we walk around this side of the colonnades... So that's the front of the house that we could see before. There's the weir spilling over into the deeper pool. Uh, we have a second kind of higher pool here. Further weirs spilling over, which I will show you in a moment. And as you can see here, we've got the entry point of where the water is entering the property through the aqueduct. Uh, I have not been exploring up the top, if you can get up the top yet. Uh, but this is the entry point for the aqueduct into the property. Uh, and if we come over here, as you can see, there is a lower section uh, with a beautiful, stunning view all the way out. And it's absolutely beautiful. And looking down over the top, 
you can see there's some lower pools down there, which I have not jumped down to, but I'm going to assume that they are not part of the map. So let's come back and we'll have a little look in the rearmost building first, as we're already here. And around the back, as you can see, small island. And once again, a much more naturalistic creek as opposed to the more structured pools that are around the front of the house. So this is the Sweetwater Cascades Tower. Uh, we have a high vaulted, rather castle-like room here. And these actually remind me much more of the Leowen castles as opposed to... Outside is much more kind of elsewhere style, inside much more Leowen. Uh, so this will take us back out to look over uh, the pond with the stairs that go down straight into the water and this door takes us back out the other way. Uh, on this side we have another small room once again with the high vaulted ceiling and then you can also go up in the tower to another very small um, high vaulted but flat roofed room. No external exits here it's just quite a small room. Note that this is furnished. Uh, the unfurnished version does come with that light that you saw sort of hanging there as well. Um, so no furnishing in the end room. As you can see here, we have a beautiful tiled uh, pond as opposed to sort of the deep, deeper pond. It's um, gorgeous. This is just really, really, really nice. So we'll come into the back door of the uh, Leowen Villa. So you will recognize the floor plan. If you have a copy of the Blackwood chapter, you'll recognize the floor plan of this building. Uh, that's the front door that we could see before. So we have a long, long, uh, a long straight room at the bottom uh, with staircases on either side, a mirrored um, sort of floor plan. A small room on either side. This is furnished. Nope. <clears throat> Try that again. Let's preview that again. Furnished. So, um, as you can see, this is uh, laid out as a kitchen. I was thinking we might have a quick look outside to check the furnishings. <laughs> uh, bookshelves, sitting areas, rugs. The Leowen furniture is still fairly rare, um, but over time it will become not so much. Um, and you should be able to acquire this fairly easily. Some, a lot of this stuff is the purple quality furniture though, so that's still relatively rare. So we also have a basement. We'll look at that while we're here. Low roofed, really fantastic storage area. Gorgeous, look at this. Oh, two separate rooms as well. Uh, note the strong support pillars. Excellent engineering in this basement. Um, so, you could certainly... Ah, and there's a courtyard entrance as well, which I missed before, so we might pop out and have a look here. Aha! Uh -huh. So, we have like a storm cellar uh, on this side. So, while we're out here... Uh, as you can see, there's just a few more, like, benches and things along here. We'll just take a quick look here at the uh, tower to see what it looks like furnished. I could have sworn I chose that. So this is set up just as, mm, I guess, a small retreat. A few, just a few bits and pieces. I think the fact there are doors on every wall makes it a little awkward to decorate. Um, certainly some of these paintings are very rare and they could be worth the price of buying them for crowns. Usually uh, it is a better deal to buy something for crowns uh, rather than as part of a package as opposed to buying it individually for crowns. Though of course if you can get it for gold that will be your cheapest option. Uh, I think mostly the only other difference here is maybe a few extra trees, a few extra external lights. Most of the flowers and hedges they are all built in. So. So let's go upstairs now. So large open void and then four small rooms off this level, uh, currently decorated as bedrooms. 
bedroom and study on this side. And then separate study and separate twin bedroom on the other side. And then up again to the top level. A not blocked off master bedroom. And on the other side, another sort of library as well. There are small balconies uh, on each of the three sides, uh, four sides actually, uh, where you can go out and have a beautiful view of this really very, very stunning house. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you like this one? Are you impressed? Uh, is it something that you would like to purchase? This one will be for crowns. Uh, it won't be for gold in game. It will be crown only. Is there something that you would add to your housing collection? Uh, it is stunning. I love it. It is my jam. Do I need another house house? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I need just another like house house. I do have a lot of house houses, even though personally, I would love to live here. It's gorgeous. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and you found it helpful because it helps to spread the word. Please do subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. Uh, I stream, additionally, I stream the Elder Scrolls online over on twitch.tv slash ICYIC. And I'm a member of the ESO stream team. So come follow me over there as well. It would be appreciated. And I often have giveaways, including game codes. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time.